Hello everybody, my name is Vintato and welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, right before I start, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. It's really amazing, I just realized I hit it a couple days ago actually. And yeah, so thanks guys for the continued support throughout the years. Keep it up. Also, also, 30,000 views on my last video. On one video, my last video, 30,000 views. It's insane. So yeah, just big thanks to all of you guys. Thank you, 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 thank you. And sorry to keep you waiting. Enjoy the video. Alright guys, so I'm here and I'm about to show you guys how to make a Mario Pokemon card using Photoshop. Now, what you're gonna do first is get this Pokemon card template. I'll link to it in the description for you guys. Also, you're gonna need this fighting background, um, which I got from Icy Cat Elf on DeviantArt. Go check them out. It's really helpful, by the way. And so you're gonna download that link right there. And also, you're gonna need some sort of picture of Mario for your card. Now first, what you wanna do is grab this this background and throw it behind your template and just like that you got your basis of your card now obviously if you want to make a mario pokemon card you're going to need a picture of mario so grab that and put it on your card as well now after you've added your background and mario you want to add your landscape so head over to your search engine and find a uh, a suitable picture for on uh, the background of Mario. Now I found this picture of Seaside Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Now I think this looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna put it in like that. So once you put it in, you realize it kind of covers everything. So you just wanna shrink it to the right size, just like that. Now make sure you add the landscape in front of the background, but behind Mario and the template as it makes it easier to see everything, or it makes it visible for that matter. So adjust it, um, get what you want in the picture, take out what you don't want. All right, so I drag this a bit. Now erase the excess landscape. So you wanna take your eraser tool, hold shift to do the straight line, and do it along the edges. There we go. So, We've got a landscape, Mario, and we've got our background and template. So you can adjust your Mario wherever you want. I'm going to actually flip this by going to transform and flip horizontally. So now he's facing the other direction. I think that there looks pretty cool. All right, now as you can see, I have a picture of Hariyama, another Pokemon card. Um, as a reference, just so I can look back and forth to see what I need and what I don't need. So first, we're going to worry about the name of the text. So obviously, we know it's Mario, or you can name it whatever you want. But I'm going to name it Mario. So you want to find a font that seems somewhat like the, um, like the Pokemon card text font. Now, I'm going to see... This, I think, uh, what text is this? Yeah, I think Helvetica knew it actually looks like the Pokemon card text, so I'm gonna use this, but you can use whatever you want. Alright, so I adjusted this text. Now, you can either um, copy the text again, or you can add another layer of text. So I'm just gonna copy by right-clicking and pressing duplicate. There's also some keyboard shortcuts you can do as well, but I didn't do it here. Now what you wanna do is write HP in all caps. Now you're going to add in whatever HP you want Mario to be. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. So. Let's see. So I think I'm going to want Mario to be. Um, let's do a 120. It's not too OP. It's not too weak. I think it's a good amount. Pokemon cards these days, they have like. 300 HP, which is insane. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. So now we want to find the fighting type symbol All right, so I found one that looks somewhat similar to um, the real one or just like that. So 
you want to paste it in there when you find one. Um, this one, it's not a PNG, so you just kind of erase the background by using the wand tool and then pressing delete on the white space. So then you're going to want to shrink your picture or if it's small enough, then stick it right in that corner here. Now, you want to do your Helvetica new text once again and write in whatever you want. So first you got the number of the Pokemon. So you go N-O and then dot and your number. Let's make Mario a number 30,052, because why not? You want to stick the text at the top of the layer above everything else. And you want to put it right on that uh, silver bar on the template here. We'll worry about colors and, and size and stuff after. So after the number, it comes uh, the type of Pokemon that uh, Mario is. Let's just say he's a plumber Pokemon, because, well, we know that Mario is a, a plumber, an Italian plumber. So then you go to height. So HT colon. Okay, so I just found out Mario is five foot one, which is really small. Um, zero one. There we go. So height, and then we've got weight, which is in pounds. So WT. All right, so apparently Mario is 209 pound, which is, I'm not saying anything. And yeah, so no, it was 200.4, because they want us to be exact, right? And with the dot at the end for pounds. Okay, so change the color of that text to sort of a dark gray. There, sort of like that. Now, you want to go on to Mario's moves, weakness, resistance, and retreat cost. So what we want to do is do the same Helvetica new text and do whatever comes to mind. So Mario, fireball. We know Mario can shoot fireballs. So, fireball. Now, what other things does Mario have? All right, so let's just, let's just do a one-up, right? So, like that. And I'm going to change fireball to fire flower so I don't see dumb because I know he should fire. Okay. So we got fire flower and one up. Okay, so now what exactly do these powers do? Alright, now I almost forgot that we had to add the damage that it does. So you want to keep tabbing to the right. A one up it doesn't really do any damage, it's more of a healing effect. So I won't put anything there. And fire flower is a fire move. So we have to put the emblems or the symbols over here. Now I'm gonna go find that. All right, so I got the fire symbol and you wanna put it the same size as the text, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do a fire energy and a grass energy. All right, so I got the grass energy and make it the same size as the fire, just like that. Now for one up, I guess that's kind of like... Mm. All right, so I decided that this one-up effect will be sort of a psychic power since there's no other way to describe it. I guess it's just kind of an extra life kind of thing. So make it the same size as the other ones. You can put it right over them just to make sure. I think that's fine. There we go. So I'm gonna use two of these. Oops. So if you hold down Alt and then you drag, so Alt and then you drag the thing, the thing that you're trying to duplicate, it duplicates it. So that's kind of cool. One more. So I'm gonna move this tag over. And also going to there. So now that we've got these things established, we need to do the descriptions of the moves and the weakness, resistance, retreat, and the special fact here. Okay, so start off with Fire Flower. I'm gonna reduce this because it seems a little bit overpowered. Let's put it to. 50 because there's a good reason for this. It's 
because um, we're going to make the defending Pokemon burned. And burn plus 70 damage is pretty overpowered, so I didn't know how I felt about that. So we're going to change this to the defending Pokemon is now burned. Okay, so I'm going to change this text from condensed to bold to medium. Because I think that looks more like the actual text that it's supposed to be. Okay. So, take this text, bring it down here, and change it to whatever you want. Alright guys, if you've noticed, I have made a few changes here. Now, after you've completed your middle text, we need to do the bottom. So what you want to do for this is find your uh, Pokemon's type weakness. So Mario is a fighting type, and fighting type's weaknesses are fairy, flying, and psychic, uh, if I'm correct. So I guess since psychic energy symbols are here, I might as well use these. So you want to do your alt and drag and fit it right underneath that section right there and you want to write how much vulnerability it has against pokemon so let's write for example what times three times let's do times two all right guys so i've got the symbol and now it's time to put it in the resistance so first off, we need to get rid of any white spaces, even the wand tool and erase. No, shrink it. We want to shrink it and put it underneath the resistance roll. So usually with resistance, there's a subtracting um, sign in front of it, meaning it subtracts a certain amount of damage that goes against the Pokemon. So, if a dark type, for example, tries using a move on this fighting type, we could do um, minus, minus 30, I guess. Yeah, so we can co we copy that. So we've done that, and next we have the retreat cost, which is basically um, the normal energy cost it takes to retreat this Pokemon. So you want to go on Google or go on the internet and search up these normal energy symbols and then put them in there. So I've got my symbol and then you want to just put it down in the retreat section. Right here. And you can copy it, put as many as you want. Let's say it takes three of these to retreat this Pokemon. And last but not least, we have the fact or some sort of information that goes in this box over here. So what you want to do is copy, copy the text in the center right here. So hold your alt and drag. Now with this text here, you're going to want to erase it and just write something anything here now drag it inside here it's basically a cursive font like um apple chancery this is a perfect font so you want to get some sort of information on mario and stick it in here all right now i got some information from a website it says when Mario was first drawn, um, it was first drawn as red overalls in the blue shirt, but that was what it changed. It was pretty cool, I actually didn't know that. So I got that information. Now you want to keep pressing enter until everything fits in this box. Just like this. Go to the bottom and keep pressing tab. So it goes in a sort of diagonal formation and when you do that it will fit in this box over here. Alright so I've finished the Pokemon card. Um, this is what the final product should look like. You have your 
name of the Pokemon, the HP with the symbol, you've got what type of Pokemon, height, weight, and number, the moves, what it does, the amount of energies, um, the damage, you've got the resistance, weakness, and retreat, and lastly, the fact. Alright everyone, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos with every single person you know, you don't actually have to do that, but that would be amazing if you did, and yeah, catch me later in my next video, I'll see you later, bye. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle.